good morning as you can see the sun is so bright today it's so bright because everything is iced over or not iced over because we don't really get iced but frosted over today and the sun is reflecting off of everything so brightly like crazy but we're back on the road again it makes work because you know it's work day it's wednesday um today's morning vlog is brought to you by Amy Rizdale. She had a question about whether or not I changed my makeup out in the winter time or like by season. And the answer is yes. But I also changed my makeup out by mood. I find that in the winter I'm gravitating more towards cool tones and things that are just more easy to put together, smoother looking, less like pow pow. Um, unless it's like a holiday party and it's like ha ha pow all the way. But like for me, I also find that I'm in like a color mood in winter. Like in the winter, I'm more purples and deep emeralds and like really rust, not rust colored, but I'm trying to think of like dirty gold, like dirty gold, olives, purples, mauves, berries for sure. Like I'm a huge person to wear a lot of berries in the winter. So those are things you'll usually see me wearing in the winter more just some things are more romantic almost in nature come winter like cooler tone more romantic just softer looking than I do in the summer which is more bold like okay I say more bold but then I look at my eyes shadows today and it's a little bit um okay I know it's a little a little popping it's a little popping around here today but yeah it's one of the ritual of fee shadows that I hauled like the really purpley blue dual chrome, dual chrome shifted one so that's what's on my eyelids today so i'm really checking it out today to see kind of how long it lasts how much it holds up like what's gonna happen with that if it's gonna make it throughout the day because i have a super long work day today i will work from about 7 30 to 9 o'clock today 9 p.m so we'll see how it holds up how does color pop foundation stick gonna hold up how everything's holding up today because i'm telling you today is the day for the test but let's talk about color mood. Do you guys have a color mood for a season? Do you find yourself gravitate, gravitating towards different things depending on the season? Like I said, mine is very cool tone, very, very, I love a berry lip, guys. Like I'm talking about, you should, everybody should know about now. Like if you see me in videos, for probably the rest of this winter, it's gonna be berry lip here, berry lip there, new lip there, berry lip there. It's gonna be something with a berry undertone or something very similar to maybe deeper mauves. You know, it'll be more nudes. Like today, the color is called Grape Up on my lips from Clinique. It's one of their chubby sticks. But girl, it ain't grape. It just looks like a nude, more like a purpley base to it, which is fine. And that's all I was really looking for, considering how, like I said, pow my eyes have become. What we got happening right here? Who coming? Nobody. Okay, let's go. And we're off across the thing. Yeah, no. All my traffic, guys. All the traffic. There's not really much traffic this morning. I think I'm a little bit ahead of schedule getting to work today. So, I don't have as much traffic out today. I have passing some buses and cars and things of that nature. So, they're probably like, why that girl in there talking to her phone like that? What's going on? Craziness. However, I do like talking to you guys in the morning. It's fun. It's so much fun. I get easily excited, as we all know, by anything. But also, she asked if I change out my eyeshadow palettes in the winter and by season, or rather. She asked by, by season. So, I said yes. Because I do. There are some eyeshadow palettes that are just seasonal. There are some things with like a lot of peaches and really like bright teals and like those kind of shades that I don't find myself reaching for in the winter. Now, in the fall, I'll still reach for like those oranges and rusted, like red coppers. I also reach for those and I still reach for those sometimes in the winter as well just depending on the look because my skin tone is warmer but in the summer my skin tone is so warm that I couldn't even think about putting this look on my face in the summer because it's so warm so in the winter it gets a little bit more neutral I can do this well I have a lot of bronzer on today so I don't know if it looks neutral or not but let's just say the bronzer hand got kind of heavy yep it did now that I'm looking at this, you know I really took my makeup more during the daylight than I do once I leave the bathroom. Because once I leave the bathroom, I'm just like, oh, gonna work, bye. It can be looking like whatever. Do you do that? Do you guys leave the house and just go with the flow? Or do you check your makeup in every light? Because I know people always like, check your makeup in all the lights. The daylight will snitch on you. The flash in your camera will snitch on you. Like, if they be coming for people's blending skills and things early in the morning, I'll be like, why? It's so early for this kind of animosity about a bronzer. 
or an eyeshadow palette or whatever you got going on. But speaking of eyeshadow palettes, let's talk about some of my winter favorite eyeshadow palettes. So Dose of Colors, Sassianas, which is like a more rusty terracotta based color. I really like that. It has a deeper, darker color on the end that I really like using. And then, what is it called? Not Marvelous Mobs. It's the one that's the berry. Mm. It's the berry one, okay? I'll put the name in the description box. But it's the one that's the berry colored. I really, really wore that out last winter. Guys, I wore that like every other day. Like, it, whew, it got a lot of love. A lot of love for me. I could, I can really see um, the Sasha Nota Safari palette rolling on over to the winter and fall. Like, from the fall to the winter because it has so many colors that are just like cooler tone and able to use like a just throw a shadow like a shimmer on the lid if I need to because they're all matte. I'll probably roll that into winter. I will also find myself pulling more for my chocolate bar palettes because I feel like the original chocolate is cooler. It looks better in the winter. It's easy to go throw it and go so I'll pull that in the winter some as well as the semi sweet. I tend to use the sweet peach more in the summer and spring. Um, what else will I pick up a lot more? I'll pick up my Lorac Pro 2 because it definitely is more cool tone in for fall. And I will pick up my Naked 2 palette will get more love this winter. Because I love to use, I love using those shimmers on the lid. Um, that'll get, definitely get, these are like classic palettes sometimes I guess. I know they're not brand new things, but they're just telling you what I gravitate towards in the winter time. Like that more cooler, taupey, gray color. And then I'll also pick up several Tarte palettes. Like I have a Tarte, the Tarlet and Bloom will get a little bit of love. The original Tarte lip palette will get more love because it's more cool tone. Those will come out. A lot of my old school palettes come out in the winter. Now that I'm saying this out loud. Because they are more classic. They are more neutral. They are more cool tone. Whereas a lot of newer palettes are so warm all the time. All we get is orange. We get it guys. Orange is a transition color. But we don't have to have that for everything. Like you can use anything as a transition color to place down in place of where you want to blend your shadows into. And I think that we have lost that art of knowing that what a transition color is for. We just assume the transition color must be orange or it must be brown or it must be warm tone. It does not. I did not use a single warm tone shadow on my eyes today. Hold up, we got something happening up here at the four-way guys. I think it may be a wreck. Um I can notice like Somebody had a rag this morning. Oh, or a car stalled out. So we're just gonna go around. Different way to work today. I know my face has got super close to the thing. Ignore my pores and all the boogers or whatever else you might have seen right there. But hey, we gotta make a detour. Detour on the education route to get to a different place in school today. Cause we couldn't go across the bypass. <sighs> there goes my shortcut. There goes my early morning arrival to work. Oh, but this ritual the feet shadow is looking like pow whoa, 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 whoa. I'm definitely going to play with this more I just kind of slapped it on this morning to see what it would do see how it would wear but I will definitely do a better job of blending it out I really want one that's more skin tone based more like bronze undertones where I could just step it all over the lid just have like a super glowy lid look one day but just like my skin tone glossy like look you know like a glossy eye you guys know what I'm talking about You've seen it, you've seen it. Something more editorial, something more grungy. So I really wanna try to grab like one that color and one that has like an olive base. Cause like I said, I wear so much olive all the time, all year round. But definitely in the fall and winter, I wear a lot of olive green things. So that's definitely on my list of things to check out and try. But guys, we're going down a different route today. So it looks a little different like color wise. Like there are more trees down through this way. So it's much darker. Whereas where I come from, normally there's so much light and shine, like light shining through all sunshine. I mean, the sun is actually gonna feed all day long. I really wanna go this way also though because it's gonna, I'm gonna be passing all the restaurants and I'm gonna be looking at it longingly and lusting for food this morning because I had to have a wisdom teeth removed yesterday. So I may sound kind of strange. Let me hold my face kind of strange because it was on the left side. And I had it removed just not really unexpectedly but like it wasn't scheduled for that day like I was scheduled for a cleaning and a checkup and then he was like oh no that's pushing on the bone of your like it's pushing is in the very very back of my mouth and it's pushing on the bone of my jaw and it's like cutting through the gum causing some scar tissue to create there so he was like let's just go ahead and get it out and I was like okay he said let's do it for you like your insurance still covers it right now go ahead and get it out and get it done and I said okay got it done end of the year gotta get all those insurance benefits guys if you had to use your benefits girl get them use them 
Okay, because you pay for the insurance all year long. So get all your benefits out of it before December 31st. Okay. So I was like, sure, go ahead. So we got it out yesterday. I got put to sleep <laughs> randomly. Good thing it was up the street from my job. So I could like just scoot back down after. Got gassed up and then got ungassed up and got everything snatched out. And I was full of gauze and numbing cream all the rest of the yesterday evening. And so the feelings come back today for the most part. But I can feel different for the needle marks in my jaw and in my gums where they went in with the needles to numb everything. And so that's kind of a little tender. And my face is not quite in its best movement, I guess is what I should say. But he did a great job. It's pretty painless like as far as actual sight of removal. I don't have a lot of pain attached to that part. And it's okay. It was not a lot of pain to me yesterday. And I only took like one Tylenol the whole day. So that was pretty good. So I thought he did a great job in what he did. If you're in my area, his name is Dr. Jeffess, and he is an amazing dentist. Um, if you happen to be in the Tupelo New Albany, North Mississippi area, he is amazing. He is great, and I think he did a great job with the tooth removal. And it was, like I said, way in the back and pressing on the other teeth and the jawbone, and he just got it out. So he did a good job. In like an hour, like I was done, in and out, in under an hour checkup, x-rays, everything done, and the teeth removal, and the extraction, as they call it, extraction. So, that happened. Um, so, yesterday, I had a random surgery, and we talked about palates. As you can see, this detour is taking me longer to get to work today, but we are making it. So, guys, let me know what you're talking about tomorrow. I have some ideas for some videos coming up that I want to run by you guys, and I think I may do. I saw Lauren May Beauty do a video today about five types of makeup that she loves like not like brands or anything but just like types of makeup that she loves and we know i love makeup so i feel like that video might be a good video for me to do because i love makeup i think she also did the reverse of five types of makeup that she hates so i may try to film those this weekend if you guys are interested in seeing them and try to throw them up sometime this month on my channel but yeah i think they were great videos let me know what you think about that and I will get back to you guys. I am not quite at work, but I'm close to work. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Because I'm about to get to where it's going to be in school traffic. Because I do work at a school. Doing mental health there. So I'm going to be close to school traffic. And I know it's going to get backed up and crazy. And then the resource I'm going to like, why are you on your phone? Get off. Um, I don't have time to beat him up today. You know, I love him, but I don't have time to beat him up. So. No, he probably beat me up. He, he used to buff. I used to buff. Both of them are like buff. Like super actual police officers in, in real life outside of school. So, nah. But thank you guys for watching and going me on my commute as always. I hope you have a great day on this Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye.